Okay, I'm here with Nick Thompson, CEO of The Atlantic, who has been discussing the role of AI in communications with us at Provoke Global. And Nick, you said something um, in the middle of the, the session there that really resonated with mm -hmm. me about high trust and low trust yeah. societies. And what was really interesting to me was the question of whether AI is going to exacerbate the problem of low trust um, internet and low trust societies or whether it provides us with a potential solution? I mean, it's both. I mean, I worry a lot that it's going to turn the internet to a place where we don't trust anybody, where so much stuff will have been created with AI that is synthetic, what people claim is human, and so much stuff that has been created by humans that is real and people claim is AI, that you will have no idea what's going on. You won't know whether you're talking to a human or whether you're talking to a bot. That's my worry. But on the other hand, AI can be a great verification tool. AI can be the tool that we use to make sure that we do trust. So I am hopeful for a future in which people use AI to strengthen bonds of trust, not to weaken them. Are you an optimist on that score? Are you, are you sort of an AI utopian? I am an AI a... optimist in general. I think okay. it will be good for the economy. I think it will be good for us. On this particular issue, I am an AI pessimist. Oh, OK. Uh, I'm not sure how those two things I believe that alignment. economically and in general, AI will move us forward to ways we have more creative, imaginative, longer lives, but that specifically in the next few years, we are going to have a huge trust problem with AI that we're going to have to work through. Great. Do you, do you think the solution to that comes from government or from private industry and More technology? More from private industry. Um, government will have a hard time moving quickly enough to deal with it. Government can play a role. Government should set norms. Government can help guide behavior, but it will be private industry that probably has to do the most here. That's great. I, I know our audience is wrestling with these issues on a daily basis, and yeah. I appreciate your insights. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.